Hello everyone. I'm Taufik Reji. So and today I will be presenting to you the social media launch of my project. Firstly, let me introduce to you about myself. My name is Taufik Reji. I'm from India. I'm 16 years old and I study in grade 11 in Abu Dhabi Indian School. I'm interested in artificial intelligence as it enhances the speed, precision and effectiveness of human efforts. Mathematics can be used in an amazing way with artificial intelligence. I'm mainly interested in the software section of computer science. My other interests are in sports, specifically cricket. Moving on, let me introduce to you about my app. The name of my project is Face Emotion Detection and Song Recommendation System. Let me tell you about my app. In this project, I will construct a real-time face emotion as well as gender detection app in which we will be able to detect emotions and gender in real time, that is live. And on the basis of that, the app will give suitable song recommendations. What are the day-to-day -day applications of this app? As you all know, facial expressions and other gestures convey nonverbal communication cues that play an important role in interpersonal relations. It is useful and important for security purposes, such as fraud detecting in banks and also in supermarkets to study the feedback of the customers using face emotions. Nowadays, during the times of pandemic, written surveys are not encouraged in most of the sectors. Instead, facial expressions can be used to take surveys for feedbacks. The programming language that I've used in my project is Python. And the important, an important library that I've used is called DeepFace. So DeepFace, it is a library which is a neural network-based deep learning brain module. So what is the advantage of this DeepFace module? We do not need to train this module as it is itself a train module. All we can do is just import this deep face module into the project. Uh, moving on, let me show you a live demonstration of my project. As you can see, this is the coding structure of my project. I've used a couple of important libraries here. So the main important one is the deep face. Deep face is a deep learning facial recognition system created by the developers of Facebook. Along with it, CV2, which is an open CV library, and it is a real-time computer vision library. So the deep face and CV2 plays an important role in capturing the image. Next is the tkinter. It is the GUI, the graphical user interface, and it is the interface which, uh, in which uh, various things are displayed and the play sound and the Pygame mixer. These two libraries are for playing the audio. So moving on, I have, I have uh, defined a couple of uh, functions here, starting with an important function, the display camera. This function does the important job here. It captures the image, recognizes the image, and analyzes the image. That is, it captures the image and using the deep face uh, train module, it will recognize the image. And after, once it recognizes the image, it will analyze the image, you, you give out the dominant emotion and the gender. Next, moving on, and another uh, fu function that I've defined here is the select function named as SEL. This function is the based on the radio button function. Radio button is nothing but it is a button which allows you to choose between multiple options. So based on the radio button function, I have um, used the SEL function to choose the required sound file based on either the gender or the dominant emotion. The third function that I have defined is the stop music function. This function is very simple. It just stops playing the music. So moving on, the as I told you, the graphical user interface here is a tkinter. 
So we have uh, developed a canvas, which is uh, the display unit of the TKinter. And the, there are three important controls here. The first is the label control, which displays the different labels, which displays information in labels. The second important control is the button control. It allows us to click on a specific button and the button has a command running behind it. Thirdly, it is the radio button, uh, the radio button control, which I mentioned earlier. It is used to choose between options. And then for capturing the image, I have used the hard cascades. So what is hard cascades? It is a machine language image detecting algorithm using along with the deep face. So deep face analysis, the deep face analyze function will return a dictionary. So from that dictionary, from this, that set of dictionaries, we'll choose two keys. The first key is the dominant emotion, which displays the dominant emotion. And the second key is the gender key, which will display the gender. And then we display these two uh, results, that is the gender and the dominant emotion. We display it in the GUI. Once we uh, run this command, this is the for the function named display camera. So once we run this, we get the gender and the dominant emotion in the GUI, in, in label boxes. Followed by it, we have the radio button. And this radio button, as I told you, it will give you two options. And uh, based on which the song will be played, either you want to play the song based on your emotion or based on the gender. And this is all about my code, and I will uh, run this code now. So as we can see, this is the tkinter GUI used here. This the name is again it's a label, and we need to enter the name in the input box. And then we have a capture emotion button. This cap this uh, starts the functioning of the camera and also recognizes the emotion. Yeah, so here the image, the live image is detected and the em uh, emotion is getting displayed on the top. Now that the detected emotion, the dominant emotion is displayed here and the gender is displayed here, we have, uh, we have two options to play the song. Either we want to play it based on the gender or based on the emotion. So. Just for the time being, I'll choose based on the emotion. And then the song will be played. And then we click on this button, the stop music button, and then the song will stop being played. So this is all about the application. Getting back to my presentation, the last slide here I have is just a few acknowledgements. First, a big word of thanks to all those who have helped me in this journey of app development. Firstly, I thank Clever for providing me a platform for expressing my talents. Secondly, I thank the mentors in Clever for guiding and supporting me throughout this journey. Last but not the least, I thank my parents for enrolling me in this internship program and for the support to shape me to a better individual. Thank you, and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.